Okay, my name is Philip Odiambo. What I do mostly is farming and uh, soap business. Farming, I started just when I was uh, still a young boy after completing my school. In some years back when Kenya was uh, promoting eradication of poverty, they came up with a crop called Amaranth. So I became one member, good farmer of the Amaranth. In fact, we even had a, a CBO. So all along, my interest has been in farming mostly these uh, organic foods or nutritious foods. And in 2017, we met with a, a Danish uh, a CEO who introduced me to chia farming. Okay, the, the legend about chia, the story about chia, uh, attracted me a lot uh, about the price and about the farming itself and uh, the, the period that Chia takes. Uh, Amaranth takes two months, but Chia is three, so yeah. they were almost uh, the same. Again, uh, the nutritious part of it, it is healthier uh, than, than Amaranth food because it has got a lot of nutrients and other things it does to the human body. There are several uses of chia. In fact, you can feed it to your birds. Again, you can feed it to your animals. And uh, most important now, you can feed it to yourself. As uh, human beings do consume it, so it can be one of your first foods in the family. It has minerals. It has omega-3 that is mostly found in fish. And so chia has a lot of it. Most important is when you can get some income out of it. Okay, it, it can be consumed generally from the roots to the seeds, but uh, most people prefer the seeds. Uh, some people use the stem, some people use the roots. We advise the consumption of leaves because we know how to use it, and then the consumption of the seeds. There are some several ways we advise uh, consumers to use it because there are also some side effects from consuming the direct food. I've only come across one variety, although there is other varieties. Uh, the variety we have is called uh, Salvia Hispanica. That's a common variety that we have around. When we were trained, we got seeds from Uganda. You know, there is much production of these seeds in Uganda, followed by Tanzania and then Kenya. So when we had received the organic seeds, we were trained on how to make our own organic seeds. So we make our own seeds and we resell to farmers to plant. The market is there uh, internationally. Uh, locally, there is a market, but the, the local market is very low because most of us have not known about chia seeds. Internationally, they need the, the, the seeds, but to reach those international markets becomes uh, the problem. If the market is there. The price can, uh, can also be a little bit good, but it is something that farmers are not used to. Uh, we sell one kilogram just at 400 Kenya shillings locally. So we take it from farmers between 100 to 150, and then we sell it to at 400 shillings. It is good. There is a demand for it. For those who have known about here, they demand for it. And uh, if you are lucky, one acre can produce a maximum of 1.6 tons. But that is uh, quite difficult to get. So averagely, farmers do get uh, 600, 700 kilograms per acre. So we advise farmers that if they can produce even 400 kilograms per acre, if you can get 400 kilograms per acre, at a cost of 150 shillings per kilo, you can get 60,000 shillings. Okay, I offer training on higher basis. So I've been training com companies, I've been training groups, I've been tra training some uh, officials. So anybody who is willing to start here farming can uh, ask me ab how to go about it. Yeah. I offer training from planting up to 
Havertin.